Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll try to understand what is ad hoc reporting, which is one of the most frequently asked thing in a developer's you know day-to-day uh, -day life. So before we answer that, let us try to understand what is ad hoc actually mean. Ad hoc means report that is report that is generated on the fly now apart from the requirements that we get to build our standard reports sometimes client want to find answers you know on his data on the fly so for that he does not want to create a requirement document ask a developer to do and then he see maybe he does not have that much of time so what he wants is you know just you know log in for that day maybe you know just pull in few columns and see you know how much of sales he has for that day so that is something called as ad hoc here so reports that are generated on the fly so in tableau like suppose you are creating a report okay so we are creating a report in tableau or we are creating a report in power bi or any bi tool you take you are creating a report so and then you are publishing it to production server and you are scheduling it to run on a particular time so what are we doing uh, from this we are trying to answer to a specific questions that are you know raised in the requirement document or we are trying to find out answers to only specific things but apart from that if client wants to know any other thing apart from that that is not available in the report then in that kind of situations we will go for ad hoc reporting so one of the very you know commonly asked thing okay so like you know so and for this there is no you know like uh, what do you call there is no standard thing like you know you have to create one a bar chart uh, for uh, something like that so you will be given the data or you have to take the data and just create it or sometimes to present the data to the client in a quarterly meeting or in a monthly meeting so where we are answering only few set of questions then ad hoc reporting will serve the purpose okay so now here so now by i uh, know by this time i think uh, you know we know what is ad hoc reporting okay so apart from the standard report we will have ad hoc reporting also in our uh, you know uh, what you call a role which is important so in interview uh, sorry in resumes also we can write it uh, this point and tell that okay i have created so many ad hoc reports or ad hoc reports is something that we frequently get where client wants to see some part of his data on the fly with a specific questions that he want to see then in that kind of a scenario that just go and you know and try to answer only just two three questions and create a dashboard and send it to him that is one thing or let us try to see one use case of ad hoc reporting here so now i'm going to share one example that i you now got uh, recently uh, where you know we have a very huge data set here okay so on top of that huge data set we have already created one standard dashboard that uh, the business users are seeing every day or they want they are you know validating the data and they are doing it everything fine so that is a regular process that goes on but now this you know the head of uh, users that boss came and say no i i am not interested in seeing all of those values you know i just want to few see few summaries uh, summary of uh, values so that was his you know the requirements and then we what we uh, so and he was pretty much you know like you know semi technical guy who was aware of how to use tableau and all so he said you know i don't want to rely uh, more on what you have created and instead of that he said you know i will create you know values on my own you just give me you know uh, some ready made template kind of thing okay so what we did was we created a dynamic dashboard here on top of uh, the data set that we got and we just gave that access to that report to him so now what does he do he comes every day he, he will just take what the fields he need and he will answer he will get answers so that is ad hoc reporting for him okay here there is no dependency on the developer 
there is no dependency on the scheduling he will just go hit the fields he need because he knows the business he knows what the fields are he will just go and take the fields and see the values and that's it he is done for the day okay so now i am going to create that for you so here again as a standard example i am considering our sample superstore data set why because this is this data set is something that everyone is aware of so if you are not aware this is something that we need to do as a first step okay because in interviews also there are many questions that are you know coming on sample superstore or if you know someone is asking you to do a tableau scenario there is you know 99 90% probability that it will be on sample superstore or when you are referring to a concept to explain then sample superstore is something that you can always consider in that case because it is something that everyone is aware of okay so here my requirement is on the fly i want to choose a dynamic dimension and a dynamic mesh so for that what i'm doing is i am uh, i'm creating a parameter first here and i'm writing it as uh, so choose dimension 1 so like this the number of dimensions you want you can add it but for now i'm adding few dimensions here and from list i'm taking like say category and i'm taking region for now okay so maybe number of fields that you want you can do accordingly but for our example i'm taking this okay okay so i'm just duplicating this and uh, okay let me edit this i'll write it as 1 and uh, i'm selecting this and i'm duplicating this and i want to rename this as choose dimension 2 similarly i want to have a dynamic measures here so what i'm doing i'm creating another parameter here and i'm writing choose measure 1 here okay so may you can take whatever you want i'm taking again list of values here so profit i'm taking or sales i'm taking and profit i'm taking okay click okay so again i'll duplicate this and i will rename this as measure to okay okay so i'm going to show all of that on my view here so that it is clear what we have and uh, i'm already using an existing workbook so it is little the names are already existing don't get confused but try to understand the you know situation here or the scenario here now let us write a calculation for that and first we need to write a calculation for our dimension so i'm just writing choose dimension what okay so if uh <clears throat> okay i'll write case choose dimension 1 okay so when it is category then display category simple okay when it is region then display region simple okay and end it apply okay now same calculation i am duplicating because for the uh, second uh, parameter that we have and what i am going to do i am just renaming it to 2 and instead of 1 here i am going to use our second parameter here click apply okay now let us use this i am going to drop this here and i am going to drop this here now you see so when i am selecting category i am getting category and here it is category so both are categories here so if i select the region now see we this is changing okay so here if it is region okay so something is fishy here let us check the calculation maybe capital c i have to write okay category category okay so in dimension 1 we have to get c a t 
O G R Y. What did we write? C A T E O G R Y. So okay. Mm, yes, it is one. Fine. Okay, it is two. So now similarly, let us write a calculation for our uh, measure here. So I'm going to write P choose measure one. Okay, so same thing like we did for our dimension, I'm going to write uh, calculation for measure here. Now, what are we doing? We are allowing users to select whatever they want and find answers on the fly. So while we do this, what we can do is we can check with the users what they need. And then based on that, we can give options only to what they need. Instead of creating a dynamic thing on top of everything, we can check with the users, like what are the frequently used fields by them or what fields do they con consider as important and based on that we can try to provide them access so that is one way we can do or we can also create an extract of database and we can give them access and we can publish that data source to the server and we can give that access to the user and we can ask them to create a report on the server so that is again one of the uh, ad hoc reporting in Tableau, the concept of that. Okay, so this is something that we can always do. So here, if I change, this is choose dimension one is not working for us. Now, if I okay, so if I change to profit, okay, so um, I'll remove one. So if I sales, this is working. Right. Okay, maybe here if I change, if I change it to two, apply, okay. Okay, so now this is working. So here if I change it to region, so our choose dimension one has some issue. Let us try to fix that as well. So C A T. what I'm doing is I'm just popping this actually to avoid mistake. And I'll go here and edit apply. So if it is region, we should get region word Y. Okay, so when category it is category and region then region. So we should ideally get the region here. Uh, yeah, I think now we got yeah, now it is effective. Now if I'm just taking this again and see this is category. If I change it to region, yeah something like this we can play okay so hope i hope you know this video has helped you in understanding what is ad hoc reporting and how we are going to use it in real time if you like it please like share and subscribe thank you have a good day bye bye